you know going from really really excellent Ow. versions of the big monsters we know and love <laughs> Kaiju review to one of the uh better known Godzilla uh movies from the 70s 60s and 70s but um yeah because you thought this would be fun it I want you was to know fun. This was your idea. It was fun because I hadn't seen one of those movies in a long time. I grew up with those movies. But when we were doing the review with Carter on Sunday and the deep dive about Godzilla, um, you know, we, I didn't realize before we, until we went and saw the movie that you had never seen a Japanese produced Godzilla. So I was like, okay, you need, you need to see what it was like and how cheesy it looks with the lens of today. Like, it's very obviously that those are guys in suits. I'm not saying that anybody was fooled or anything like that. It was pretty obvious. But, like, that first Godzilla movie, the 50s. The black and white one. People were kind of fooled. They didn't know. They were like, how the fuck did you do that? Because, <laughs> I mean, nobody had done anything like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, by the 70s, obviously, people know it's a guy in a suit. But they still play it. You know, for whatever. And, like, when he's swinging him around Oh, and my shit, gosh, dude. The, the fight guys, scenes are so amazing right. in this movie. <laughs> the, guys, the guys on, like, strings, like, being hung around. By the way, this is Godzilla versus Hedorah. Yes. Or also known as... Smog Monster. Yes, the Smog Monster. Uh, and I, I forgot that it was, like, an art house type of movie. And <laughs> Oh, man, it is so 70s. Carter reminded us of that on Sunday because he, he was saying the Smog Monster... Uh, so he mentioned that it was Art House before we asked him which one we should see. And he mentioned that one. I'm like, well, we got to see that one. Yeah. Um, and that's one that I found that was free on online. And I... Um, <laughs> there's a place for those types of Godzilla movies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember there was a movie where there was... Godzilla had like a kid... And, like, I can't remember oh his name, gosh, but, like, he blew yeah, smoke rings yeah, and shit. Yeah. And I remember, like, I really liked it when I was a kid, but then I tried to watch it when I was older, and it was <laughs> like, this is fucking stupid. Um, I just, I can't get in, as into those Godzilla movies as I used to. But I wanted you to see what it was like. <laughs> because it is, it is something else. I'll, I will tell you this. I think I enjoyed it more than I expected. I, not, the smog monster was pretty neat. Okay, well that's the thing. Kept changing like shape this is, and shit. This one, it, it dabbles in a little bit of like jump scares. Yes, and like I do like the design of Hidora. Like I love the eyes and yeah, creepy. It's right? a creepy looking thing. But I will tell you this: <laughs> only one of us finished the eighty-six minutes that this movie is. <laughs> And it was me. And when I tell you, had I had known... I had to check my audience score on had, Distro Kid. Had I had known, I probably wouldn't have... That you didn't finish it, I wouldn't have. Because there's three, maybe four times I kept stopping it and being like, how much of this movie is left? <laughs> but then, there are moments where I'm like, I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun of with course. it. Of course. Because it's just so insane. And it's I like I truly mean it is one of the most bizarre movies I've ever they seen. They lean into it. Like uh, the, it's, it, it is so we, counter cult like Oh yeah. So anti government and late sixties, so, early seventies oh, yeah. vibe. Hey man, hey it came out in seventy one. This is against the man, man. How far of the movie did you get? How far did you really get? Because I want to tell you the second half of this movie is pretty bonkers. I wanna say after I, I, uh, so th I think they were trying to lure uh, the smog monster back, um, but it was sunny, and they were like, "No way, they can't come back because it's it's supposed to be a cloudy day when smog when the smog monster comes, but when Hedor comes back." Yeah. Um, I want to say that it was after it was about <laughs> ten twenty minutes after their first fight, which was where he shot the. Um, atomic blast and and he got sparks and they they told the scientists later they're like yeah there were sparks he's like well this is why because of pollution because of pollution <laughs> but then they also discovered that he wasn't from this earth and they uh like the main but did you see the part where like the main like the like college the, age boy 
Yeah, the the hipster dude with the. Did you get to the part uh, with the where go-go he, dancer he girlfriend? Had, did you get to the part where he had a guitar in the park? No. <laughs> oh my Fuck. brother! I am watching brother, that. Brother, let home. me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that dude! There's a whole other musical number in this park. Is it the, and then is it the mo- is it the song from the beginning? I don't think it. Is it if it's a, it, I'm pretty. I sure love how there's no song. Japanese words for like strontium and shit because she's like da 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 strontium and yeah. it's like, hey, <laughs> he sings wait a second. This song. All these people are in the park like singing together. It's like it, I could not believe what I was. And then. Hidora and Godzilla show up and start fighting, and then it's okay. We're into the end of the movie, but yeah, they had a whole song. But I think what ha- what well, what happened was, uh, fucking Hidora <laughs> showed up and just, like shot his like pollution boogers at him, and took a bunch of them down. And then Godzilla was like, "Those are my people. Those are my like, homies." <laughs> <laughs> hey, pollution. nobody fucks them up but me. <laughs> I am the one who bored I Mr. bully Bowser. these people. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Can we also talk about how every time we gotta talk you about can it. tell a guy's in the suit because, by the way, high definition does not help these movies. No. At all. Because I God. watched it on HBO Max uh. and it is. A <laughs> uh. um, but every time Godzilla gets ready to fight, this dude is like. Pumping himself up. Yeah, he's like and a like fighter. And like winding up yes. his fist. And he's wiping his snout. Yes. Amazing. The kid did it. And they're like, are you imitating your hero? Yeah. <laughs> the only thing I the only thing I shout wish. Out, by the way, shout out to the subs, not dubs. I appreciate it. The, the, here's the only thing that I wish is that I wish I would have found a dubbed version because those are even crazier because they never fit the actor's oh, yeah. mouths and because, like oh because their language is so different than ours right yes oh my god it's it's fucking fantastic but um yeah i mean i give it a thumbs up because it was so bizarre the the whole the whole part where the guy he looks like he's drinking but he's clearly high because all of a sudden everybody turns into a fish <laughs> And they're not at a strip club, but there's go-go dancers. Right, and he's at the foot of one particular go-go dancer who turns out to be his girlfriend. Why are you so depressed? Your girlfriend is the hot dancer at this club. Because she should only be dancing for one man. I guess. Maybe that's why. Whatever, weirdo. Let uh, your woman be herself, man. People complain about Godzilla running in that Godzilla and Kong trailer. yeah. Didn't he do, like, push-ups in a dance number? You didn't finish it. You didn't get to see the final fight. <laughs> didn't he do like push-ups so, and stuff? So Godzilla shows up. I'm so so I, at one point, Hidora wins. Of course. And knocks Godzilla into this like little crater and covers him in pollution and smog and it hurts Godzilla for a while and it burns him because it's like acid rain, you know, whatever. So he does that. You think he's done. Hidora's doing some damage. Godzilla climbs out of that crater and comes at uh, Hidora, and he shoots his breath, his uh, atomic breath, into this like billboard thing that like reflects electricity off and shocks Hidora. Okay. And knocks him down, beats him down. But then you think he's got him, and he turns into dust. But then the, f- the flying version of Hidora goes out, and he's flying past. But then Godzilla says, all right, I got this. And this is why I hit a moment where I'm like, I'm glad... Tyler made me watch this, even though he didn't finish it. I did. Okay. <laughs> it's usually me. This is why I got to talk about it. He takes his arms, puts him like, like again, pumps himself up, like throws his arms to the side, like let, loosen it up, like, all right, let's do this. And just goes like that and uses his breath as a way to propel him towards Hidora, and in that he gets in front of Hidora and beats D- Hidora down. And I gotta say again, a dude being the suit, this mother, this dude is, he's got Hidora. They're like ass. wrestling movies. He's got moves. him. Di- yeah, yeah. Because one point he's swinging him around yeah. with one leg. He's got Hidora down, and he is just molly whopping this dude, just hammer fisting him. And I'm like, Godzilla taking. I'm pretty it sure they do like the. I'm pretty sure he does this a couple times. And then at one elbow point he drop like and takes, shit. He takes like the camel clutch. He takes these two. Yeah, and, and then yeah, Godzilla eventually wins and kills him, and end of smog monster. Hats Hidora. off to the production designers for uh, me never being able to decipher where in the Hidora suit the dude was. 
when there was a dude in that suit. Because there was a couple of like the flying versions, you didn't need a dude in the suit. You just put that on a. I, I liked Hidora design. All, 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 I'm, sa- all I'm saying there were times when there was a dude in the suit. But the design of the care of the creature was such that you couldn't be like, "There's his arms. I could see a foot." You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't. You don't care. I, what, what do you want from me? Off panel, off job, with Jake and Tyler. 